Hello, everyone. This is Karis Alexander with Deep Truth Media. My last sharing got cut off halfway through, so I'm doing the other piece now and will upload it. Where I finished off on the last one was talking about um, the two kinds of prana currents. And I was talking about the, uh, the main uh, omnipresent um, force, a current, which is our essence, our quintessence. And that actually structures and sustains all life and all things in this physical material uh, universe. And we are coming into a greater awareness and knowledge of this uh, omnipresent uh, structure or current which structures all life and sustains all life and all things in this universe. So we're coming into that gnosis, into that knowledge of how um, our essence is the actual fabric upon which the idea or concept of even us having the capacity to be creators. And we are coming into greater and greater awareness of that knowledge. So what I wanted to speak to, again, was um, this whole concept of uh, a permission slip. So we can now give ourselves permission um, to explore and experience and be in the uncomfortableness of what we are experiencing and like a, a child, allowing ourselves to stumble and to um, get comfortable with our training wheels as we're learning to understand the mechanics of how this uh, essence upon which we have created from and experienced this physical dimension through these physical bodies. So we are coming into greater knowledge. You know, the power control system, they know they have this knowledge. They understand how the mind works, how these biological vehicles work. You know, we're well-studied species, so um, they do have knowledge of this. The, the main thing that they keep out of, 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 of view for most of humanity is the, the whole construct of the heart, which is really uh, where it's all at. So I want to talk to you about this, um, uh, the other pranic uh, currents, uh, which actually filter through these astrological bodies or planetary bodies through the star system. So the um, prana energies um, are in terms of Saturn, Saturn, when we breathe, taking the in-breath, it actually stimulates our capacity to eliminate, that is to... Um, to um, allow us to, you know, have our daily bowel movements. And um, if we look at Jupiter from the perspective of the prana currents, it allows us to, <clears throat> Jupiter currents allow us to crystallize what it is that we are wanting to manifest through our thought and the thought process in the mind into physical form, into physical objects, crystallization. So Jupiter has a capacity to crystallize these uh, these energetic forces within us into our manifested reality. And uh, we look at the Mars current. Mars is associated with our circulation. Um, all of our circulatory uh, movements through our body, through the blood, everything that's circulating, uh, the air the, that we breathe, the prana that we breathe, that allows us to... Um, Gov uh, Mars governs circulation. Mercury, Mercury um, uh, allows us to deal with um, assimilation, our ability to break down, I gather, and and um, and to assimilate whatever it is that we are being exposed to in these biological vehicles. It's assimilation also be, be able to understand and um, 
um, reflect and uh, understand the deeper meanings of what it is that we even speak to or uh, what we are learning, if we're learning in the process of learning, allowing ourselves to simulate and um, process or whatever it is that we need to process through these biological vehicles. And I think the last one that I needed to talk to you about was Venus. And Venus um, function. Yes, Venus has to do with our metabolism. So it allows us to um, assimilate or metabolize um, or break down uh, that which we are eating or anything that we have put into um, these bodies it allows us to um, burn off um, excess uh, that we've accumulated in our systems. Um, so it's interesting when you look at the planets um, from a very simplistic standpoint what, in terms of what I'm sharing in terms of how each of the um, planets actually um, facilitates um, some part, some system, uh, some process within these biological vehicles. So we look at it from the terms of the breath, prana currents. Um, the overriding prana current is our essence, our quintessence. And then we have these planetary bodies which are facilitating um, different processes within our biological vehicles, and uh, which is whether for good or bad, um, meaning positive or negative, um, we are to learn how to um, use or, or to bring into balance uh, all these energetic forces within us. So I think it's quite interesting. And I, I will explore and experience that with you as we um, continue um, learning. To, this is just a little snippet of what I'm going to be sharing in terms of understanding the, the mechanics of, of energy and, and how energy, um, how we experience uh, these energetic forces uh, through these biological vehicles. So today I went out for uh, early morning meditation at a tea purveyor here in Hanoi. So one of the key things in the, that people are going to be wanting is, is to have more experiences. And um, that will be reflected um, for those in um, our third dimensional construct. Those experience will be more external experiences. And, um, but I think that um, I can honestly say for myself, um, the experience um, that I'm more in tune with, although I do um, from time to time do participate in external experiences. The, the main in experience that I participate in is, is, is the inner experience. Um, as I come into greater, greater um, integration of essence in physicality, this is the experience. But that happens for one as they become more elevated in the, uh, their consciousness or the, the, the frequency into the higher and higher frequencies. So I will share with you my experience of tea here. This is a new teapot that I brought at my new tea purveyor, which is really good for Vietnamese tea. I'm really a connoisseur of um, Japanese tea, um, high quality Japanese teas. Like for me, that's like fine wine. I don't drink that much, but um, I do love tea and um, I'm, I'm looking to find very simple ways of bringing um, abundance and, and wealth and prosperity. And, and this is just a very simple way of doing that, is bringing tea into my life. Uh, this is something that I enjoy and is reflective of my essence and my capacity to live in a state of peace and ease and abundance and joy. So encourage you whenever you're listening to these sharings to bring with you a cup of tea and and we can sit and share in this capacity um yeah and and the experience and and then allows you to as you always do i'm sure as i share or sharing this experience whenever you're listening 
Um, and you can have a cup of tea. And I'm sure a lot of you already do that. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share in my experience today. I went to a tea purveyor uh, that I've come to know here. And uh, I get my new tea from. And this gentleman uh, to your right is a tea master. And he's the owner of this uh, tea purveyor store in Hanoi. They sell very high quality um, uh, old from old um, uh, tea, tea trees in um, uh, northern Hanoi, uh, uh, northern Vietnam, I should say, not Hanoi, but this tea store is in Hanoi. But he's just a wonderful, very sweet man, and his wife owns this tea store, and they do this full time. They're a young couple in their 30s. And um, yeah, and these were um, some mung cakes. This is uh, something that was given to them and we had all had slices of that, but just uh, meditated for about an hour as a group of seven of us, I think. Uh, and uh, then we had tea in honor of this 8-8 portal, which I don't even understand this 8-8 portal. So I brought up my Stellarium and as you know, I look at um, uh, the stars where they actually are or the planets where they actually are in the, in the sky. And so if we look at Stellarium, we will see that, um, oh, well, okay. So in my Stellarium here, I wanted to show you this 8-8 um, portal is actually the sun is actually in cancer and uh the portal i guess the lineup is with the sun in cancer and uh directly across from the star regulus in leo so that must be the 8 8 portal originally i had thought that uh, that's looking in the sky right now but originally i had thought that the 8 8 portal was um from the tropical standpoint, the sun is in uh, Leo, but uh, if we look at the sky right now, the sun is actually in Cancer. So this is a little information for you um, if you were uh, wondering a little bit about the AA portal and what it meant. But obviously, the energies are, are quite interesting, uh, provocative, uh, thanks to the uh, this alignment every year it happens, but it will... Um, actually be intensified this year and every year moving forward. Um, so it's very interesting. Energies today are quite beautiful, uh, quite easy uh, for me. Um, I, so um, I'm grateful for that. The other thing that I wanted to share with you before I head out here is on my Facebook page, I was talking about... Um, I thought it would be appropriate. I'd wanted to share this on a number of occasions and you can join me on Facebook if you like. But I just posted on Facebook about this um, new book that came out last year called Stealing Fire. And I thought it would be a perfect timing because there's a lot of fires apparently in um, physical fires happening in California. And that's a metaphor for what I believe is um, talked about in this book called Stealing Fire. Stealing Fire is a new book it came out in 2017, and um, there are two authors um, basically um, determined um, that uh, there was a $4 trillion industry, um, which is the altered states uh, industry. Um, that has everything to do with alcohol, though, and um, pharma pharmaceuticals, um, uh, pharmacology is what they also call it, uh, like ayahuasca type ceremonies. Uh, uh, altered states could be gambling, um, pornography. Uh, so those are all in this, uh, this whole area of altered states. But they took, uh, they used the uh, four years of research that they had gathered from uh, flow states, um, which is about being in the zone and how athletes are in the zone and, and really about um, what we experience uh, for those of us who are 
moving uh, deeper and deeper into our heart connection, that's the organic way in which we can experience these flow states. And uh, so I found it interesting. Um, and there's a, a little video you can watch on my Facebook page and how um, this whole concept of nirvana or having the experience of our essence is being democratized and, um, and how we're learning, uh, individuals are learning how to hack their consciousness now and, uh, and to be able to learn how to uh, be in these uh, altered states of consciousness or peak performance states in order to um, live a better life and to uh, have uh, better experiences. And um, the whole idea of, of, of having um, more experiences is going to be more and more prevalent uh, in our physical dimension because um, the power control system will attempt to mimic this um, idea of, of altered states or having peak or having uh, mystical type experiences in everyday life, which is possible for everyone. Um, if you are able to do the internal work, the deeper work and come into the resonance of the heart and, and, and that is the natural organic way. But, um, this is what I'm showing you here in terms of this book, Stealing Fire. Uh, they are expressing how they're going to be able to use neurobiology, uh, technology, pharmacology, and psychology in order to assist people to get into these flow states or the higher states of our essence, so to say. So I, I thought that that was something I wanted to share with you because this is what we explore here uh, in, in my sharings. I, I share with you my experience of, of coming into this inner gnosis of this, um, this, um, this lattice work, this fabric upon which uh, creation um, uh, happens which is underlying or underneath, as I talked about in my last sharing, underneath this, this, uh, this 